Welcome back to Learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a 3D donut chart. One way to do that is on extensions right now we use the nice charts on the data you can put in your data set. Obey the formatting here you need to separate your values with a comma and you need to add the value name. Let me just add something, I don't know, let's say strawberries. I'll make that 25. So if I check the live preview, we already have our strawberries here and if I delete it, it's gone. Make sure that when you type in values that you have the live preview unchecked, otherwise it's going to try to render it and the formatting might not be yet ready, so you get a warning message. By the way, I've done another tutorial about this menu that explains it all in detail. So if you're not familiar with it, you might want to check that out in my Inkscape playlist. I'll just go over it briefly here. Important is that you've got the pie chart selected as a type. The color scheme doesn't really make a difference here. We'll just pick SAP. Could also show the values, but we're going to delete them anyway. So let's uncheck that. I click on apply. Now let me select the text elements and the lines and I delete that. So this is what we need. Make sure the snapping is enabled. Then use the ellipse tool, hold shift and control at the same time to drag this circle. Let me give that a different color so that you can see properly. I need three copies so that I've got four in total because I've got four elements in this chart. But before you do anything, just select it and then go to path and object to path. Now shift click on the red circle in the center and these individual four elements of the donut chart. Then go to path and difference. That's the way to create this donut chart. Select it and without holding any buttons, just resize it a little bit. So it's going to transform it. Press Ctrl D to drag a copy out of there and then drag that downwards holding Ctrl. You might want to put that in the background. And now shift click on the elements that have the same color. It's best to use an interpolation step. You can directly use the Bezier tool, but for some angles it's a little bit tricky. So I would suggest that you use the interpolation first. Around 30 steps should be enough to create overlaps. And now use the Bezier tool to create the edges. Snapping is enabled and that helps me. Don't worry if that was too quick, we're going to go over it for the other elements as well. Close your path. Put it in the background, now select it all and give that the same color. Make sure that you get rid of the stroke by clicking on the X and holding shift and I'll choose this dark green Then go to object and ungroup. Select the top one and give it a lighter color. Put it to the top just like this. I'll select it all and press Ctrl G to group it again. Let us go over it again with the blue element. So extensions, generate from path, interpolate. I've got exponent 0, 0.0, interpolation method 1, and the steps are 30. Again, use the BZ tool for the edges. Close the path. It has a stroke, so, so hold shift and click on the X. Put it in the background, select it all, and give it the same color. Once you've done that, you need to ungroup it under object, or you can also press Ctrl Shift G, select the top one, 
give it a different color than the other ones or a different shade put it to the top in a stacking order I'll select it all again Control G to group it it still snaps but you have to play around with the stacking order to find the correct position let us use the next element shift click on them and again generate from path interpolation we'll use 30 steps again PC tool I'll put it in the background, I'll select it all, use the same color and then hold shift and click the X to get rid of the stroke. I press shift Control G to ungroup it, I'll select the top one. Different color and to the top in the stacking order. Once again, I select it all, Control G. The final element. If you get a warning message by these interpolation methods, just click on OK. It should interpolate it anyway. Don't worry about these shades in the background. We can just delete them. To ungroup, as I've said, you can also go to Object and Ungroup, but Shift Control G is a short key. And now we've got a 3D donut chart. You can keep it like that, or you can create spaces in between these different segments. If you do so, just disable the snapping for a moment and you can do that much more easily. And this is how you can create such a 3D donut chart in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.